Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm very excited today because I will be unboxing my brand new Chinese iPhone 11 Pro Max. So if you follow me on Instagram, you know what happened to my phone. My old phone that I was using, which is an iPhone 6S, fell in a bowl of soup. And I know that is very embarrassing, but yeah. What is more embarrassing is that the phone that I was using before that is the iPhone 6 Plus and it also fell in the toilet bowl. So it clearly shows that I'm a very, very clumsy person. So if you haven't followed me, please follow me on Instagram. This is the first time that I'm buying a phone online and I simply didn't have a choice because my school wouldn't let me go outside to buy a new phone. And so now let's do the unboxing. Before anything else, I'm going to put on my gloves right here and just for safety purposes you know the coronavirus is still out there and i would advise you if you're also buying things online it's just better to sanitize them or put on gloves so here we are and this is the delivery that i got now we are ready to unbox the phone and let's see what it looks like Are. So, so yeah, here is the phone and it came with, I think it's a MacBook card, yeah. and I'm going to oh god this is so nice it's so nice to do that so yes this is what it looks like there's nothing written on it so yeah let's turn it on and see what it looks like okay so now it's turning on yeah let's go and so I can choose the language English of course and so as you can see it asked me to select my country or region and i think i will choose china china mainland and it says that if you had an iphone you're supposed to set it up manually but my other phone is dead so i'm not going to do it it asked me for the to set up my wi-fi wi-fi password so i'm just going to put it in okay so my wi-fi is put in done so it said that it may take a few minutes to activate my phone, my iPhone, so I'll just put it down there. In the meantime, let's look at this. So this is the, so it came in with a manual and you can see it's all in Chinese. Yep, everything is in Chinese there. And yeah, it came in with the pin to open up the SIM card. And it came with, with, with two Apple stickers. And yeah, basically everything in here is written in Chinese. Yeah, that's all. And then the box also came with earbuds. And also the new charger. Also the charging cable. And that's what it looks like. It's different from the other iPhone that I had. Because it was, it had kind of like a USB cable right here. But this one is much more smaller. So yeah, my phone is already activated and let's continue. Oh, face ID. Let's do this. Move your head in a circle. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so my face ID is now set up and I will continue. Then I need to create a passcode. Okay. My phone is already activated and that's it. So after putting in my Apple ID, they need to send me a code. 
and the only way they can send it to me because I don't have another device is through a text message let's see and I will need to put on my SIM card so let's do this let's do it oh where is the home button I'm so used to the home button that it's so weird okay got it So they are calling me, it's the number from America. So it asks me whether I want light or dark mode. I'm, I will go for light and then maybe I can change it later. They actually told me that if I want to go to the home button, I just swipe up. And yeah, I really did get this information because it's very diff different for me coming from iPhone 6. I finally, welcome to iPhone and the installing is done. So basically, the Chinese version phone is not different from my other two phones, which this one was. This was a Hong Kong version and this was an American this was an American version. I don't see any big difference between the three phones. I will do a future video just to show you what apps are on my phone, what apps I can use on this phone and what apps I cannot use. And also I will let you know when I travel outside the country whether the Chinese version phone can be used outside the country because sometimes people say that you cannot use it outside the country. So yeah, that's all everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video and like this video, leave a comment, share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.